What is up you guys? Welcome back to Toyota Fanatics. Uh, we're just jumping into this wheel spacer thing. I mentioned to you guys yesterday, uh, I am anti wheel spacer, which is pretty weird to say when I'm about to put them on my, uh, my Sequoia, but I don't like wheel spacers. Um, the problem is, is usually rational people who are running a lightweight, reasonable, rational wheel and tire setup usually don't need wheel spacers. It's the guys running, you know, 12 and 14 inch wide wheels that are super heavy anyways. Then they add the wheel spacers and next thing you know, they're breaking off down the freeway. Uh, but this is only a uh, 17 by 9.5. It's a pretty lightweight wheel and tire. I'm doing um, nothing excessive. If you're running eBay or Amazon spacers, no name spacers, not hub centric spacers, um, yeah, I'd, I'd prepare to die. As I was mentioning before, these are spider tracks. Spider tracks are probably the best wheel spacer in the world, hands down. If you uh, if you disagree or you have more info, definitely leave, leave a comment down below. But uh, I just wanted to give a little look right now. Um, when I got this wheel and tire combo, I was I wasn't super happy about the offset on it. Uh, I kind of wanted it to stick out a little bit more. Nothing super crazy, but as you guys can see, uh, it's flush, if not uh, in, just a hair. So. Uh, let's throw these wheel spacers on and see what kind of difference we can come up with here. And uh, I already got it up on jacks, it's pretty easy. All right, let's get that wheel off, get it going. So as you guys can tell, uh, the surface here is actually really clean. So I, I'm off to a good start, but I'm still gonna take some, uh, some brake clean and just clean it up, just to make it even a uh, better seating surface for that wheel spacer. All right, we are ready to put this thing on. So as you guys can see, uh, the surface is uh, pretty cleaned up back here. Let's just go ahead and clean the back side of this thing. Go ahead and mount it up, and that fits really good. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of this thread locker, and remember you wanna make this uh, last for all 12 lugs, because uh, each set which is two wheel spacers, only comes with one of these. So I have some backups, some thread locker here, but if I can make this work for these two, that would be nice. The way these wheel spacers work is uh, they give you these shortened nuts right here, go far enough in recess that it doesn't interfere. And then I torque them down to 90, put your wheel back on, and, uh, and then you drive them 50 miles, pull the wheels back off, make sure these are still fully torqued and if they are after 50 miles you're pretty much good but uh you're gonna want to check them periodically just to make sure they're they're hanging on there okay and you guys the uh, lug nuts go with the tapered side going in All right, and at this point, the only thing we need to do now is drop the vehicle and torque the lug nuts one final time, and then we are done with the rear two. Uh, but let's just do a mental checklist real quick. So we uh, cleaned the surfaces, did Loctite, torqued them down, put the wheels on. The spacer sitting flush to the rotor and the wheel sitting flush to the wheel spacer. Everything went on perfectly and it's all torqued up. So let's go ahead and drop the vehicle and uh, take a look. All right, well, I'm happy with that. You know, uh, coming off uh, from owning a set of 22 by 12s on 35s on the Tundra, I mean, it's gonna be pretty hard to uh, satisfy my thirst for my wheels and tires sticking out, but uh, I really like this. You know, before, I, I've never really liked the look where it's, it's inside and this thing was guilty of that to the extreme. So I think it, it looks a lot better with those wheel spacers. Again, I'm not a wheel spacer kind of guy, but uh, you know what, it's kind of, it's kind of dark right here, but when you walk by, you can actually see those 
anodized blue wheel spacers in there and they actually look good. I'm happy with them. Um, the other two times I put them on trucks before when I drove them uh, for the first time, I was like terrified, thought my wheel was just gonna fly off. But this time I wasn't feeling like that. Uh, I feel real confident in the, uh, the installation and the craftsmanship and this thing looks great. So window tint, did the whole system. Got the wheel spacers, I just need to do the exhaust, and then uh, we need to find a truck to buy. That is what's really going on. I need to get a truck. Um, I haven't even needed one in the last couple weeks since I haven't had one, but I can just tell I'm a truck kind of guy, even though I'm I'm loving this thing right now, and it's nice to have room for a giant subwoofer enclosure like that. With all the trucks I've ever had, I can, I can never fit a, a big box in there, and you can tell. Even when I had 212s uh, and all the power in the world in the tundra you could just tell it didn't have the room to breathe those subwoofers subwoofers need to breathe anyways uh truck looks fantastic i'm gonna go pick up some dinner and uh but i just want to stop by here real quick happy about the whole daylight savings thing it's really nice it would probably be dark right now a few days ago uh but this is one of my favorite spots up here beautiful day beautiful day you know i just don't think that the gopro can really it's like something is lost from my eyes right here to the camera. It looks really good. And then when I look through the lens, it's not showing how good it really looks. But take my word for it. Super happy about it. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this uh, wheel spacer video. I wasn't even going to make a whole video about the topic, but I thought, you know, what if there's other people out there that watch this and they're interested in putting some wheel spacers on their Sequoia or Tundra or something. And I, I wanted you guys to see what they look like, how they go on. And uh, if you do them right, they can really enhance the look and uh, not be dangerous at all. If done wrong, uh, <laughs> things can go real bad. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you liked it, drop a like and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.